Hey, welcome back to BetSquid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you an example of how you can do your teacher parent conferences online using Google Meet. So for this tutorial, I'm assuming that parents have already booked their appointments with you. Um, our support admin staff are basically using youcanbook.me, okay? And what it does is this is a software where it's a web portal where parents can book appointments straight to your Google Calendar um, and it links it to the Google Calendar. So once they book an appointment here, um, simple online scheduling for your team. That's what their slogan is. That's their catch line, yeah? It basically books straight in to your calendar. So our support admin staff have already done this for us. Our appointments are every 10 minutes. So we've got a schedule booked for two days with appointments every 10 minutes. So how are parents going to join the the conference, what are they gonna do? Well, basically you need to create an event, okay? Create a Google Meet link that you can share with the parents so that they can log on to the Google Meet. How can you do that? So I'm gonna show you this here. On your Google um, Gmail, okay, you've got this toolbar. Well, you should have a toolbar on the, uh, what you call this, on the right-hand side. If you don't, then toggle it on and off via this little strip here. So if I click on this arrow, you can see these icons here. This is my toolbar. If I click on calendar, um, then I've created an event for Monday, Tuesday. This is the event here, yeah? You can just create an event yourself anyway. So if you just click somewhere, you can create an event, okay? Just create an event. So I've created that already. I've created a, a scheduled event, okay? If I click on it, uh, I'm just going to edit just to show you what you need to do. So the, because the conferences are two days long, uh, I've made this a whole date event and I've put in the date that you need to put it in. This is the meeting link that you're going to share with your school admin office so that they can share it with parents, okay? So when they book the appointment via whatever platform they're using, in our case, we're using, you know, you can book.me. Nonetheless, this link is going to be the link that parents are going to use to log in. Okay, so check this out. Just make sure that your dates are scheduled so that it covers the conference dates. Why? Because it seems that some uh, links are expiring. Okay, so just make sure that these uh, dates, I know this creates an event in your calendar, uh, it shouldn't have any um, impact on the actual Google Meet link. However, just for safekeeping, make sure you've got the date there uh, and go ahead and save this. Now, I'm not going to save it because it's already scheduled for that date. So that's the thing. You've got your meeting link, okay? And you can go ahead and copy this and then share it with your school admin's office so that they can share it with parents. Now, so technically what's happening is you log on to that Google Meet, okay? And parents are going to be logging on um, depending on when they've scheduled that meeting with you. Now, how can you see where they've scheduled that meeting? Well, let me show you how you can see it. If I click on my app expose or the app grid here and I go to my calendar, okay? Um, for us, our admin office support team have shared a calendar with us. So if I just scroll down here, I've got so many calendars. If I scroll down, I've got this one here, parent teacher conferences, November 2020. If I click on the three dots, I can display this only, okay? So only display this calendar. Now it's not showing anything because it's not today, it's tomorrow. So if I go on tomorrow, look at this. So this automatically populates in the calendar using youcanbook.me. Okay, so here we go. What can I do with this? I want to print this off. The easiest way to print it off, like I showed you, go to the calendar in question, okay? And just display this calendar. Because if I don't, it's gonna display all the calendars and it's gonna be a complete mess. Okay, click on the cog, the settings, and just go to print. And then what you can do is make it the smallest font, okay? So from the biggest, just go to the smallest font and then you'll see that you'll get more information in the smallest font. Uh, and then go ahead and just print this off, okay? You may wanna go ahead and do it for the next day. We've got two days of events. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it for those two days and I will basically get a print out of all my schedule basically for those two days, okay? So if I go ahead and go to print, I may choose, however, not to print it, just save it as a PDF. So over here, I'm gonna to go to, you can, I can print it using the secure printer or whatever printer that you know, is on your network. I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a PDF uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and press on save. That's gonna bring this dialogue and I'm just gonna name it. Uh, I'll write my name and I'll write Parent Teacher Conference, November 2020, okay. I'm gonna go save that on my desktop. You can save it where you want. So if I come over here, I can show you that PDF. Where is it? Here we go. So that's what it looks like. It's over two days. 
yeah, I mean, that's good enough, to be fair. You can print this off, you can keep it on your screen, and you can zoom into this to see what schedules you have and what time you have. So that's that part done. You're organized, you've got your um, scheduling right there. What do you do next? Right, so let's go ahead and see what we do next. So on the day of the conferences, go ahead and uh, click on your Google Meet link and just keep active for the whole day. Now, just for our example, I'm gonna go ahead and go to Google Meet, and I'm just gonna start a meeting here. I'm just gonna call it Test parent teacher conferences and continue. So a couple of things here now that are very important. I'm gonna show you why these are important, okay? Let's go ahead and just get that started. So here's the little technical part. There's one setting that you need to turn off that so parents can't just join the meeting automatically. They, you get a notification as a host to say, do you wanna admit this person into the meeting? So let me show you what that is. Just go through the three dots at the bottom and click on settings and then go to host controls. Now under host controls, this quick access, you wanna disable it. By default, it's enabled. So you wanna go ahead and disable that, okay? So if I do disable this, I'm gonna show you an example where I'll join a meeting and I copy this link and I send it to myself. So if I try to log in now, I'll show you what happens. If I go ahead and um, log in, I'll get this notification here and it says, as a host, I can either deny the entry or I can admit the entry. Now, of course, I've got my schedule over here. Oh, is that parent supposed to be joining right now? It's, it's 11 o'clock, they're supposed to be joining 11.30. I'm gonna deny entry right now so that they get a hint that they should go recheck their schedule, okay? Um, so let's go back to the Google Meet and I can deny entry. Now they might try again to join so they can just refresh the link, okay? And go ahead and try to join that meeting. Let's go ahead and try that. So here we go, look, they've tried again to join and if it's the appropriate time, we can now go ahead and admit them into the meeting. Don't be upset if parents are, you know, trying to get into your meeting and you've denied them entry. You obviously have a schedule to stick to and you need to get through, you know, 30, 60, 90 parents. Uh, and so stick to your schedule. Go to your host controls and turn off quick access. While you're here, by the way, we might as well go ahead and turn off screen sharing and the chat feature, because you wanna have a dialogue with the parent. You don't wanna be looking at the chat and you know, see what people are typing in the chat. In fact, in a 10 minute scheduled meeting, you might not have an opportunity to you know, do, you know, divert your focus onto the chat as well. So I would perhaps turn all of these off. Make sure the one thing, if you've taken anything from this video, turn off quick access, okay? Otherwise, parents are gonna be joining your meeting without um, you as a host being able to admit them or deny them entry into that meeting. Imagine you're having a meeting with a parent and someone else just quickly jumps into that meeting without you having the control of admitting them. It, it sort of creates, well, it's unprofessional to say the least, and, and then privacy as well. You know, if you're having a conference with a, with a parent, someone else jumps in, it's, it's unprofessional. So make sure if anything, you turn off quick access, okay? Uh, and that's brilliant. Okay, another thing that I wanna show you, you can stick around if you want. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a quick timer. How do you get a timer in a Google meeting um, so you can keep an eye on what's going on? Instead of looking at your phone, where's your phone? I'll use, I'll use this to calculate as a prop. Instead of looking at your phone or your watch, okay, you keep looking at your watch. It seems a bit you know, inappropriate in a meeting that you're constantly looking at your watch. So what's the best way of doing this professionally? Uh, I'm gonna instruct you to go ahead and download a Google Chrome extension, okay, which is a timer for Google Meet. So let's go ahead and do this together. I'm gonna to type in here, uh, Chrome Web Store. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go ahead and download this. Make sure you do download this extension because um, you'll have a timer for each meeting. So I'm gonna type in here, Google Meet Timer. Uh, there's a few of these, okay, the one that I would recommend, one second, let's see, here, here we go. Google Meet call timer. So go ahead and click on this and download it. Again, I'll put the link in the description. So add to Chrome, add extension. Make sure you've enabled this before the meeting starts, okay? Because if you wanna enable it afterwards, uh, you're gonna have to rejoin the meeting. Okay, so now that we've added that to our um, Chrome browser, this is what I'm gonna do. So here we go, I've refreshed that link. Now you can see here, okay, in the, in the top over here, in the top right, there's a timer here. Now this time is brilliant. All it does, it just gives you a running uh, time on how long you've been on the meeting for. And since you're looking at your screen, it, you're not looking at your watch, you're not looking, picking up your phone. It, you know, you're not distracting the flow of your meeting. So go ahead and install this link. So let's say another parent joins a meeting, you have a new meeting, what do you do? Just click on this 
and turn off and turn on and it would restart the counter again. So for us, for example, we have 10 minute uh, meetings. We want to make sure that we stay within that limit um, because if we obviously do overrun a meeting, it's going to have a ricochet effect and it's going to affect all the meetings for the day. So a couple of tips that I've shared with you in this video, make sure you watch the video back. Um, if you skipped anything or you need to go over anything, uh, check out some of the edtech tutorials that I've created. Uh, if you're interested in upskilling in this uh, time of the pandemic. And of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one.